Hello and welcome to Informatica Support TV. My name is Ralph Fittick, I'm a senior support engineer for PIM, and I will show you today the lesson to you of so session 2 of the workflow manager basics. Well, last time we have learned that it's very easy to build a workflow, but they can be also very complex. So today I will show you another option which is called core workflow. If you remember I've told you last time that you should only use once one event. For example one workflow which is on you, one workflow which is watching on modify. So because if you don't do so it, does, it will make you very much bring into trouble because um, if, if you have six new workflows and you're uploading one image, you get six events. Every workflow will watch these events. But with a with a core workflow, it's much more easier. Um, it's important to know about the core workflow is it should be a short one. So if you have huge workloads like derivative generations, also place it in the core workflows. So we have a short start workflow. And then you can have several workflows, for example, five, six, seven, eight core workflows, which are doing your derivatives. So that gives also you all gives you also the more power in your creation, because six workflow manager doing it at the same time, so it's a max, it's parallelism. So if you have a lot of images to do, that will make it much, much faster. So this is also shown in the samples. What you need here. Is more than one station. So if you, so if you have only one station, um, the performance boost will not be there. So let's give you a short introduction back into our workflow ma module. We have here our easy workflow. When we go back to the administrative mode. Or managing workflows, and what we see here is our old import workflow. I've also restructured. So we have here a change to only new. Still, the system check if it's hot for the upload or not. So if you think it's done by a user, everything is okay. And um, if not, we want just to call a call workflow for technical checks. This way, you see here, a call workflow I've already created based on the station. Here you can enter also several stations and it should be called asynchrone because it's based on the same station. If it's not on the same station, you can use all things synchronized, but in this case, you will wait for, them, for it finished. So that will not bring you a, a huge benefit. So mostly, Please use asynchrone that will give you the best benefit here. So what I can show you is the core workflow. Here in the core workflow you have just to select a process segment as a watch point. And then you see, see here we do the same technical checks as before. Image, if it's a color space on RGB, is it 72 dpi? And if yes, we have another state, it's okay, image is checked and okay. So, and if not, I will show, show an error. So now, if you see that, oops, we have here core, work, core workflow and an import. The warning was just happened was say, if you're changing one core workflow, will happen to another one, because you can now have more than one. So we can copy it and place it, for example, on another station source, 361, for example. So what you have is on 361. No, we have another one here called 361. But it's only if you have the station. What have I done wrong here? Ah, just one. So we have now two stations which are called by this main workflow here. But if you see a refreshing, it's away because it's now based on 361. And you see how in this way you can just have more than one station and put it somewhere around. 
Or you can also call the same workflow from a modify workflow. If you say a user have to trigger the check, so we have to say, okay, the user triggered this, the, triggered, it, uploaded it, and but he wants to run additional checks. Then we can say, okay, let's go to has been modified. Also select customer. It's much easier. And then. We make a check. State said, well, we see in the last form here hot folder import, which is not correct. So if you modify it and set this, this is the same state as the other workflow has. Then he will call a segment. No, all the time I'm searching for the segments. Execute process segment. Here we call the same one. Call workflow. And he, he shows me both where it's running, so it's fine. Okay. So also, if the user now sets the state, he will also run the technical technic check, and the state will be finished at the end. So, so I have not given a name. So first of all, modify, modify. So the user now changes something. That one will be called. So we have an import, and here we have a log thing because there was something error happened last time, which is wrong. So we have an import. So whenever something is wrong, he will log it. So, but now in this position, we should have it. But okay, we know we have no 361 running. So that can so we will just move it back to three six zero because so we will not will not lock it. Yes. No. Ah, he just asked me. So now it's three six zero. So you see, he says it already exists, so you can't bring it back. So that is also to prevent that you have the same on the same station. So if we now have our workflows, you should normally in a position to start it. You should also see that after 10 seconds, they coming up. So what we can now try is to modify something. You remember we have changed the modification here. Oh, bring back medias. Then as an object, choose our demo customer. Let's search for the or images. The all. So we have one with no state. So if we save it now, you should have the correct trigger. Say it triggered. So he checked the image. So we see. He should not have processed it. Well, I think that's an easy way how you can extend your your workflows and also to work with the core workflows and also to make better performance on your system. So it's an easy way to do it. I hope it helped a bit for the working how to. And of course, there are a few KBs around if you're just facing to errors or help. Or still the manual. So you just have the feedback for the video. If you like it, just give it the feedback. And yeah, just I hope 
to have a good time with it. And it's a question for you to ask. Just support this video. So, well, thank you for watching my video. See you soon.